Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So here we'll be talking about postdoctoral fellowship by ISC Bangalore. In case if you are looking for a postdoc position in India, this is a very good opportunity to get into a premium like best institute which we have in India for research, especially for the science field. Uh, so we'll be talking about everything. What is the fellowship amount? What are the requirements? How you can apply? all the things i'm going to talk about in this particular video so let's start with it so this is the uh, like uh, poster which isc bangalore has posted on various of their pages but i'll take you the office to the official website okay so this is your isc bangalore postdoctoral fellowship page i will give you link to reach out to this page uh, from the description of this video so if you see uh, the text are pretty small let me zoom it up yeah so uh, the link is here but we'll get back to that later let's talk about it so they are talking about their institute first that isc bangalore it does not need any introduction i guess if you are from if you have done research you know what isc bangalore is let's come to the departments and centers okay so department of biological sciences in which biochemistry center of ecological sciences center for neuroscience microbiology cell biology molecular biophysics uh, developmental biology and genetics so if you belong to any of these field then these are the departments which are offering a uh, postdoctoral fellowship then for chemical sciences inorganic physical material research center um, organic chemistry solid state structural chemistry unit for physical and mathematical sciences also these are the departments department of physics mathematics instrumentation and applied physics uh, department of electrical electronics and computer sciences so um, like electrical engineering electronic system engineering mechanical sciences including like uh, center for atmospheric and ocean sciences so all these departments are offering this postdoctoral fellowship and if your research is among the interdisciplinary field in that case these are the topics on which they are offering and other interdisciplinary centers are also taking part along with like with the within this particular program so let's talk about the important thing which is qualification and experience so basically you need a phd with first class or equivalent terms of grade in the preceding degrees that means you need first class in your masters and bachelors generally masters is considered so if you have uh, first class uh, in masters that is something which they are going to look upon and a good academic record throughout okay candidates who have submitted phd thesis can also apply by providing proof of their thesis submission so if you if you are someone who has just submitted thesis then also you become eligible for this candidates should preferably be less than 32 years of age at the time of application now this is not mandatory this is not the mandatory age limit but preferred age limit so even if you are somewhere around 32 33 you can still apply uh, but preferred is less than 32 i know it's like if you if your age is around 32 or 33 and you are thinking that this is the eligibility criteria and i won't be selected it's not like that this is just a preferred criteria okay there are two types of criteria mandatory and preferred mandatory means that should be fulfilled and preferred means they are going to prefer someone but even if you do not have that you will be still considered maybe not preferred ab above others but still you will be considered and if your other uh, like performances your interviews and other things you outperform in them then this is not going to be the deciding factor okay i hope that makes sense okay so the duration is basically one year with the extension of additional one year after evaluation that's what is the duration of this particular fellowship now is the amount okay so the selected candidates will receive a consolidated fellowship of rupees 80,000 per month plus applicable HRA, which is a very decent amount considering the job market, considering the postdoctoral fellowships which you get in India, which is almost equivalent to uh, like NPDF fellowship. So, even if you have applied for NPDF, I would recommend you to apply for it so that you have a backup, right? So, 80,000 per month, along with that, you also get HRA. In addition to that, you are also going to receive a research grant of rupees 2 lakhs per year which is again a good amount okay what are the additional information that candidates who have not yet defended thesis but are selected for the institute postdoctoral fellowship will receive inr 50000 plus applicable hra but no research grant they will be moved to ipdf position once the thesis is successfully defended and the phd degree certificate or the provisional degree certificate is shared so basically this is for those who are who have just sub, uh, submitted their thesis and not defended their thesis so in case you, if you are doing phd you know that 
submitting thesis defending thesis are two different things you submit thesis a little before than defending your thesis so yeah if you have submitted your thesis you can still apply you can be considered you if you get selected you will be getting a fellowship of 50000 and then once you defend your thesis once you get your provisional phd degree after submitting that you are going to uh, your fellowship will increase from 50 to 80000 okay that's what it says entire duration of their appointment at isc including the period period prior to the award of the degree certificate or provisional equivalent will be one year so the the duration which they have mentioned it is irrespective of whether you have submitted thesis or not that is the duration final duration okay overseas students uh, and foreign nationals are also eligible to apply so those who are from outside india and they are they are doing phd from outside india and want to come back and join isc bangalore they are also uh, like eligible to do that Okay, institute reserves the right to screen and call for such candidates for interview as found suitable. Basically, general terms over here that the institute is going to decide for everything. Selected candidates are expected to carry out their research work and other duties are at IASC only. IASC postdoctoral fellowship is non-transferable. So you won't be able to transfer your institutes. You have to work in IASC Bangalore only. How you can apply? So you have to basically contact a faculty member in the institute who is willing to host you. So you have to first find host that's the first step of applying this okay so look up on isc bangalore website see the labs look upon the labs which are working close to your area of interest email to them ask them if they are interested to host you and once they agree they will give you give you a consent letter the consent email uh, of the faculty is important in the application package and then you can use the online uh, portal to basically fill the form what are the things you are going to require first is your cv with the list of publication then pdf file of at least two or up to five important publications so you have to upload your, the pdf file of them then your proposed research plan up to 500 words so what you are planning to do in your pdf in your postdoc what is your research plan that's what you have to give consent letter uh, from the faculty member or email from the faculty member as i said it is important so that also you have to upload then a PDF file of PhD degree certificate or provisional degrees award certificate in case if you have submitted your thesis and if any other relevant information uh, which you want to give. So all these things are required. Candidates can apply throughout the year. However, applications are reviewed quarterly uh, 31st March, 30th June, 30th September and 31st December. These are the dates. Uh, because recently 30th June is done so now you have a bracket of three months I'm making this video because ISC is, is also pushing these uh, like banners and posters on their LinkedIn and Facebook pages so they are they want new uh, postdocs to be hired so that's why it's a good time if you are interested labs are willing right now and you can make a decision currently okay so this although it goes throughout the year but this is a good time to apply for it and you can do it till 30th of september that will be the time when the evaluation will happen and you will get the results okay so for further information you can contact to these email and these phone numbers which are provided to you selection process it says that candidate must apply on or before the review dates mentioned above these are the dates 31st march 30th june 30th september and 31st december so apply before that application will be screened and the small subset of applicants will be called for interview either in person or on video conference before the final de decision is made and once your interview is done you need to like they will ask you some basic questions and if everything goes well you will be selected and uh, you can start your postdoc journey in isc bangalore which is of course one of the premium top institute in india all right how to apply just to give you a quick idea about it you can click on this link and you will be taken to this particular page where you have to go to new applicant register and do the other stuff so, okay it's just very simple that's like normal form filling so it's not a big deal but i thought of informing you because a lot of uh, you have already applied for npdf and were waiting for your results so in case if you are someone like that you should also consider applying in isc bangalore if you get over here uh, you can then make a decision later on but yeah this is also a good opportunity so that's it from my side for this particular video i thought of sharing with you guys do let me know in the comment section if you have any questions i'll try to answer you over there itself and uh, that's it take care bye bye all the best